This is Danny with Quad Lugs, and this is the build tips video for the uh, Mini XL Tricopter. To start with, it's uh, as I always say, they all build the same. Uh, on the uh, quick build guide, one through 10, um, you have the uh, arm prep, and you can uh, just take a look at all those videos. They, they help out. and. Uh, you know, once you build this one, you're going to build some more. You're going to like it so much you'll either use these uh, lugs to uh, uh, build a, a bigger one or you'll uh, buy another uh, frame kit from us and build another one. But uh, just take a look at all of it. It's helpful. It, it, it goes over everything, uh, I think, pretty good. And if you find some parts of it that you're uh, not happy with or you, you would like to expand on, please... Uh, you know uh shoot me an email or leave a comment on the video and uh i'll get it and uh you know i'll do whatever i can to uh change it up or to add uh something or add a video rather to uh take care of any questions you may have but uh like all of them all of the uh quad legs frames frame kits rather you have to do the finished trim out on the uh pan and the deck and this one, uh, you know, this is what you'll get. And you'll notice it's quite a bit of difference. We give you plenty. So you'll have to trim it out. And if you'll go by the, the quick build videos or quick build guide videos, you know, it, uh, it'll guide you through and you put all the frame together first. Then you measure and cut these pieces to fit afterwards. So it's a finished fit. Uh, after um, the uh, frame is put together and of course this is the uh, deck that'll go on and there's quite a few different ways as I've shown uh, on the uh, mini XL uh, quad that you can uh, you know cut around the arms here to uh, make it you know for one look and then you can just you know do a simple notch out like I did on this one uh, the arms are at uh, 60 degrees from the front, 30 degrees, you know, if you're going this way, uh, uh, 60 back this way. Um, the dimensions for all the arms and all the pieces, you know, are on the, uh, on the site. Um, and it does just like the other try, you know, we have the cross uh, uh, brace piece here. And you have your uh, piece, uh, your cross piece uh, here, and you know you'll have one in here that this ties into. Um, screw it, the, the 90s on like you normally do. Um, the uh, gear gets screwed on like it normally does. Uh, the only thing that's different on this one is on the uh, little mini quad is that we do not have 90s in the front. They just, you know, uh, come up flush. Now you can paint this, you know, black and, you know, get the, the look that's liked nowadays, I guess. I kind of like the wood look, but we're all, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. But when it's all painted black, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It looks good. Um, these uh, mounts here, the painted deck support mounts, um, you know, you can uh, set them any place you want. This is uh, what I did with this one. I, uh, you know, have one flush with the back 90, pushed all the way up against it. And this one here, I'm holding off, I guess, it looks like three quarters of an inch or so, uh, half an inch. It's pushed back, you know, half an inch back. And uh, I ran the deck to this point right here and then ran it out even flush with this and you know I put my Mobius here or you know you put your FPV camera here now we give you enough to go all the way back if you notice you can go all the way to here uh, this motor mount or motor arm lug and all the way to the front flush here so you know you can do that however you want I did it this way because our battery is put in this area right here it slides in right in here. And I have one piece of Velcro, if you'll notice, on the pan 
right here and it's just a one small strip and I have a strip on the battery when I push it in the battery latches onto that and it if you watch any of the videos of uh, me flying it uh, you know I'm pretty rough with it and uh, it holds it no problem at all um, and so that's what I have holding the battery in so this piece of velcro and I think you can see it in there it's right in there right there uh, and it works really well so the reason I left this a little bit back is that to get my battery out I just put my finger in here and push it on out and it comes out you, you don't have to strain pulling on the wires so much so that was my reasoning on doing that um, the um, servo I'm using is on the site is the Turnigy servo it's a little bit you know it's not the cheapy servo but it has plenty of power in and I'd rather spend a little bit more up front because uh, it lasts longer and it's better performance on it. it's a lot stronger and this same uh, uh, servo uh, is the same is one I use on the uh, uh, our full size tricopter so everything I try to do is everything I get for these I try to you know do it so I can use it on on another one so the uh, full size tricopter we have same identical servo so you know if you want to use it on a bigger one or expand this one out later um, it works so um, and it, it'll work well so uh, this is it the of course the KK2 I have on here with the aluminum receiver that I'm using and it's in our uh, you know our KK2 board holder lug and receiver pad and I used uh, you know the Ipeka um, and these are Simon K uh, flashed already they come that way uh, the ESC's and uh, I mounted them here um, again I've never have trimmed up these wires yet but I, I am going to do that where that would look a lot neater than that um, but I put them here and I'm like I said I'm putting my battery in this area here now you can move those into this cavity here and go ahead and put you a battery mount on the bottom and run your battery here and you know it worked plenty good it's just I tried it a different way to see how it would work um, and it works very well so you know the build is is just like all the others but except for the cross T and uh, you know the the piece of wood here for the cross T is connected the back arm to the front too um, everything else is pretty much the same now the pan I'm screwing in if you'll notice here I'm screwing it I'm using quarter inch screws and I'm going through the uh, the uh, mount here into the wood and if you use a quarter inch it doesn't protrude through so you know it doesn't interfere with the you know messing up the battery or anything um, so I, I am screwing the the uh, deck down or the pan down this way which is a little different because normally we screw the pan down through the arms the motor arm lugs here uh, and we scrum in from the top so that's a little bit different there of course the deck is put on the same as always so makes for a real nice setup flies tremendously good it's it's a great little machine it's fun fun to fly and the pan I'm putting all the way to the back and I'm stopping it right here but you know you get enough to where you can move it like this and put it flush here if you want to run an you know another camera up front if you put the battery in you could put you know stick a camera in there um, but uh, you know you have that option to move it around and like I said just screws I mean drill some eighth inch holes through the uh, supports here and put your quarter inch screw in go ahead and you know uh, do an eighth inch hole through the uh, plastic part and then do a 16th inch hole uh, pilot hole through the wood and put your quarter inch screw in and I always do the pilot hole just keep it from splitting it, it really does help other than that I think that's about it on the build I mean it's pretty uh, pretty simple it goes together really well and I did have a few questions on 
my uh, power distribution and you know you can do it many many different ways one way is you know just solder these together red red uh, black to black and put your connector on um, I again like to do it so that I can use these in other places and, and I like to make it fast because I I do build quite a few of these and I move things around from you know from multi-rotor to multi-rotor so I like to make it to where you know it's all pretty much interchangeable and quick to change quick to uh, to, to move around and these are from Hobby King and, and I tell you what you can make these yourself if you want to but they're so reasonable if you're buying something else or if you have something else you're getting from these guys you know throw a few of these in there and uh, it's well worth your while because I don't know if you can make it for his, for the cost that you can get them from these guys and you don't know, have different ones you know this one's for the tri has three leads three reds and three blacks so I'll go ahead you know I go ahead and, and mount uh, or, or uh, solder on a uh, bullet onto these and just plug it into there and you know comes out on this side and uh, pretty simple to do uh, and, and you know they last pretty good yeah double check things but you know now what I would what I'm going to do on this is sharpen these leads here a little bit and you know to where it looks a little bit neater but uh, you know there's many ways you can do it. you can have a distribution board and solder onto there Hobby King has you know all different kinds of those um, but I'm telling you this is what I found and I like so uh, very easy to do of course you can make your own super easy to do um, these work good and like I said if you think about it when you order another stuff throw a few of these in with your order and uh, this sure saves a lot of time but anyway that's how I did it plain and simple really really easy to do uh, anyway I think that's about it on it if you have any questions please uh, uh, you know shoot me an email or leave a comment and uh, you know I'll get back with you on it um, try it out I think you're gonna like it they fly very very good and uh, we have a couple more colors coming out I'm gonna have another video out on that here pretty soon we have yellow and purple the purple is kind of like a one-time color we're gonna have purple in the future again but this particular purple is a one-time color it was kind of uh, um, the color didn't set in good when they were uh, injecting it and uh, mixing the color to inject it and so it's just kind of a marbled color um, it is purple but it's a marbled purple so uh, you know it's impossible to duplicate that again so it's definitely a one-time color and then the other color is yellow we have yellow we're gonna have a well I'll have a sharp video out on that showing the two colors and then we'll have it on the site here pretty soon um, we sponsored the Mesa RC Foam Fighters, and um, we've been sponsoring uh, a chapter in Colorado, and we've uh, will be sponsoring this coming school year a uh, chapter in Bedford. Um, so uh, we're real proud of that. In Colorado, they have some uh, girl students this year, and they wanted a uh, a different color uh, for their first bills and so we have uh, purple and that's the reason we did the purple color but uh, I think y'all like it. it looks pretty good purple and white looks really good but anyway we'll have that out pretty soon uh, and on the site and we'll have a little video out on that and uh, we'll see you guys real soon and thank you very much for all your support please keep it up I sure appreciate your help and uh, we'll talk to you real soon Again, this is Danny with Quad Likes. Thanks a million.